What up guys, it's your girl Metamix and I am back with more Doom Patrol. And if you're enjoying this reaction series and anything else I got on my channel, go ahead subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together. Down below the description box, I'll link to Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Metamix. So there are full version of my reaction as well as YouTube Clear and Select Early Access series. And I also have a merch shop with t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things with original designs on them. So if you want to support monetarily, those are your two options. I got my Patreon and I got my merch shop. But you know not support monetarily, it's free to early. How? You may ask? Subscribe. Why? Biatch, it's free. It costs zero dollars to the description button and notification bell be notified of my videos for free, dog. For free. So, um, last time on Doom Patrol, um, we had the fallout from Baby Doll and Dorothy's big fight. Okay. Um, so after Dorothy sent her, what was he, the candle maker down into the underground to get uh, Baby Doll and, ooh, what was it, Kelly? Is it Kelly? I think that's the fire one. The fuck out of there. They got him, got him out of there. Um, Jane was pretty much inside the underground trying to figure out how to either just deal with or fix what's going on. Um, she didn't want to believe that Baby Doll and I want to keep saying Kelly because I want to say that's her name were completely destroyed forever. Uh, but everybody else took a vote and they decided to go ahead and put them in the well, which means they will be gone forever. Uh, but nobody really knows what that means. They don't know if they were dead. And, and Jane was just like, why are we doing this? Why don't we just stop and think of something else? And she went to go ask Kay, like, hey, what do you want for us to do? What do you want? She was like, I don't know. That's for y'all to decide. Y'all y'all figure that out. That ain't me. I'm over here coloring or I'm over here making my puzzles together. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all got to figure that out. You're supposed to know what to do. Um, and so Jane eventually was just like most of the episode trying to figure out what what they really need to do. And on the outside, Dorothy was so upset that she had did what she had did, she uh, was trying to find a way out. And luckily for her, the space team that Niles had sent into space was in 1955, I think. I think it was 1955 that sent into space, came back down, and we got to see a cosmonaut and two American astronauts, Skip and Zip or whatever, and uh they hadn't aged a day and they came back down and everybody was like uh what's really what's, what's what's going on with this what's um, um, um what's happening what's happening uh come to find out that zip and pip or zip and dip and flip the two guys had died decades ago but their bodies had been taken over by some kind of bacteria host that was using them to survive in space and so she figured that bringing the cosmonaut figure that bringing them back down to Earth atmosphere, Earth's atmosphere would kill the bacteria, microbial people. And it did. It's the kid on And they slowly died and they had to be buried. But she was alive and well because she um, had a negative spirit of her own. And she and the negative spirit learned to work together. And they referred to themselves as we instead of she, her, he, hit, it, him, him, them, I. Uh, something that Larry is struggling with because he still sees them as two separate entities. And... He was looking at the harmony that she had. He was like, well, I want this harmony, but Larry, I don't think Larry's going to have that harmony anytime soon because he still thinks of them as two separate people who need two separate things. And I understand where she's coming from. But um, since they came down, Dorothy jumped in their spaceship and went up. Niles and um, Cliff got together and went up to go get Dorothy because, you know, Cliff doesn't need no air. So he's cool in space. And so they retrieved Dorothy um dorothy had a funeral for her friend manny who was deceased the candle maker was like i told you this is gonna happen we adults now we do adult things she was like leave me alone and he was like okay then fine so now we're trying to figure out what is going on with dorothy uh in jane's body they dump baby doll and kelly down the well and miranda popped back up and she was like well um you don't know what really goes on in the well so why are you so scared what happens in the well and I'm just wondering how long did it take Miranda to manifest herself again? And is Miranda going to take over as a primary? And if she does, then what? Then what? So on that note, let's go ahead and jump into season two, episode seven of Doom Patrol, Dumb Patrol. Somewhere in Switzerland unexpected infestation from the 13th of the month until further notice. <coughs> 
Thank you. My side. Who is Denise? I gotta kill that motherfucker. How? When one of our ranks falls, it's up to the others to carry it. It's a yes or no question. Yes. Dad. Yes or no. Yes. I'd be honored for the good of the team. Thanks, kid. <laughs> I get to play myself. Don't you dare put on those airs with me, Gertrude Cramp. I hope you know Man, you weren't the kid's best choice to replace that little harpy. <laughs> Changed her mind how? I think we both know the answer to that. <laughs> Clearly that's a dream. But still pretty funny. Let me just let you keep doing Yeah, what's happening? Whatever. We're looking for now. Is know where he is? Space. Space. Nice meeting you or something. What is it? It's a crate, Larry. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm with Vic. I, I can't explain it, but it it feels like a really good idea to open that crate. Dream well, dear girl. I'll be back. Where the hell are you? How is he even doing this? What kind of chair do you have, sir? They, come, come on. Come on, you trying to tell me that his... Where do you, where are you? She's your daughter. How dare you say that about her? She's more than just a honey jar. She is a person with hopes and dreams and potential. Not bad, Miss Monologue. That coffee tastes like piss. I'm gonna get a beer. If you want a beer? Mm. Yes. Ma'am. What was in y'all nose? Larry? Well, not really. Look, I, I don't like to burden people with my problems. But you seem like someone I can really open up uh, to. What the hell know? is going on? My grandson is in the hospital, and my family doesn't want me to see him, mostly because I'm the reason. You're not the reason he's in the hospital. You just have to give them a little space. I should go visit them. You could, but that would be the opposite of giving them space. What the hell is going on? I'm Dr. Larry Trainer, and I'm here to check on my grant. Um, I mean, patient. patient. De They're never gonna see through our disguise. Um, lit. Oh, are you kidding? Can we not? Oh, anything we can do to help? Hell yeah. You're already dressed like doctors. What is going on? You ready? Booyah. Booyah. Should probably get you something to bite down on first. You're right, Nicer Jane. I have been acting strangely, but I think I know why. Because I'm in love? Ronnie? I know we haven't been dating very long, and we've only slept together two and a half times, but 
I just can't pretend anymore. What is going? What is? I love you. Scans. The painting was crawling with him when we traded it to Horst Eisman. Only we didn't know it. Now that old Swiss bastard's entire collection is crawling with the buggers. Only way to clear him out is to kill the queen. If I don't, Eisman's gonna feed my ass to a zombified alicorn. Just, just tell me. Have you ever seen a scan? That's well, the fucking popcorn. And I'd like to tell you all about them. Scans are pink humanoid pests. Odd looking fellows, aren't they? Scans adhere to a social hierarchy similar to bees. Now we can help Willoughby kill the scan queen. Yes, great idea. Vic, Larry, I applaud your heroic spirit. But I think it's best if we sit this one out. Miranda, you're great. Like, really, really great. But where's Jane? But we're going to need more of a can-do attitude from you. Miranda don't know what the hell she's in. She came out here thinking that she was going to control the situation. And she's like, bitch, what is happening? What is going on? <laughs> how, how is his, how is his wheelchair wheelchilling? How, how is it? I can't even talk. How is it wheelchairing out here? How is it going? Um, what? Yeah, I do want to know what happened to her mother. What kind of person does that? An asshole person, that's who? There's no business looking after a kid. None. I ought to do Dorothy Where and the entire are you? planet a favor by killing the shit out of him. Well, in that case, you need a surrogate. For what, precisely? To yell at, dummy. To say all the crap that you want to dump on your mother. You want me to yell at you? No. No, not girl, me. not me. <laughs> my bees that's the only thing that's keeping me from killing that dumb as shit kid of mine they just she just got into this house and all of a sudden she's in this shit like listen ma'am beard hunter cyborg how the heck can you see me? What's up, man? Hey, oh shit. Scans. Get behind me quickly. Quickly, quickly. Quicker than that. Help her, she's slow. Okay. Don't move. If they see us, we're all dead. Excuse me. What are you doing? Excuse me. Hi. I'm Dr. Larry Trainer. No. No, that's not right. Don't worry, guys. I got this. He not gonna get nobody. Because ain't nobody home but scants. Not even then. Hey, Clara, it's Cliff. Your dad? Your real dad? Not that folksy asshole on your answering machine? You know what? You had a chance to have me in your life, and you fucking threw it away. Bruh, what is wrong with him? We know what's wrong with him, but what is wrong with him? Pawn is throwing away at your shitty bar for me. Oh, wait, that, that, that came out wrong. Uh, oh, man. Bro. That's some rough shit. Give me that phone back. I need a do-over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
One love. <laughs>
WTFs that I've ever WTF. Okay. <laughs> this show it never takes me where I think it's going to go. Never. Y'all, I'd just be so like, I'd be so stressed. Trying to mentally figure out where we're going. And I, and I just have to learn with this show. Like it's season two, we're almost to the end of season two. You'd think that I would know just to watch it and stop trying to figure it out. But the puzzle master in me is like, you can figure out this plot before it gets to it. I know you can. I believe in you. Well, I don't believe in me. I didn't expect that. I was wondering what the purple pinkish stuff was that they all inhaled and that Miranda was like WTF. But also now that I know that I don't have to like Miranda, we're even on a better, like, we're, we're out there doing stuff. So what is she just getting rid of all of the, um, Well, so, well, not really all of these. Scarlet Harlot is the first one. So she's like the real hypersexualized one. So that's why she probably got rid of her because she came in wearing white thinking she's the first lady of Christ and she's covered up from the neck all the way down to her ankles. So that could be it. So I don't know who else would go. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's interesting and it's strange, but I really think that Niles doesn't have to do what he's getting ready to do. I, I feel like there's gotta be another way. There's gotta be a better way. Like you gotta have some kind of conversation with this kid. He's always making decisions without involving the people he's making the decisions for. And that's his downfall. He has to be in control and the decision maker on everything, but he's not being communicative with everybody else. Like dog, you've done this four times before. Don't you think you would have learned your lesson? Maybe? Mm, that's just me speaking, but you know, so. Uh, on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me today, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Child, now let's just keep doing owl shit.